Atere TV. Tundun, daughter of the late MK Abiola, has berated her half sister, Afsat, for using their father's name to promote the presidential bid of Yaya Bello, governor of Kogi State. Governor Yaya Bello had over the weekend declared his intention to run for president in 2023 on the platform of the All Progressives Congress, APC, and appointed Hafsat Habiola Costello, one of the daughters of late Habiola, as the director of his presidential campaign organization. The Kogi governor's presidential ambition campaign slogan is OP 2023, a slogan similar to that used by Abiola during the 1993 presidential election campaign. While speaking in an interview on Arise TV on Sunday, Hafsat said she accepted the appointment because Governor Bello shares some qualities with her late father. But yeah, speaking of silly season, you did warn me, didn't you, Dr. Abate, that all kinds of characters are going to be coming on here and I should brace myself. But I was actually quite dismayed by your interview yesterday. I've come to expect certain things, even from that individual. But just because it's not surprising does not mean it's not staggeringly inappropriate. I'm referring to my half-sister, half sat who is the DG of Yaya Bello's campaign, yes, and her making comparisons to my dad. I mean, there are lots of political players in his team. Not one of them feels the need to throw their father under the bus for, their, for the sake of their principle. Come out and talk about your principle, his antecedents, his plans for the future of Nigeria, and leave daddy out of it. It's not her right, because it's not her name. It is our name. And it's also the name of future generations of Abiolats yet unborn, who should be proud of a legacy. My father was tortured because the United Nations does consider solitary confinement as torture. He was tortured and then murdered and has left this legacy only for us to be abused in this fashion. And I did say, because I'm quite consistent, we had another gentleman on this show talking about another person who was campaigning for and using my dad to score points. And I was apoplectic. For me, it's, it's the principle of it, whether it's his child, it's unfortunate that it should be his child. Everyone should just leave his name out of it, especially the dishonesty, the false equivalence, the cynical exploitation of a genuine struggle. It's nauseating. So frankly, this APC PDP is just really the tip of the iceberg. Where it's